So Square Enix will not be bringing any, well, of the mainline core Kingdom Hearts games to Switch. We're getting Melody of Memories, uh, a spinoff, and that's it. And it's not even like a core spinoff, you know. <laughs> it's literally like a Hyrule Warriors, not even Age of Calamity, like the original Hyrule Warriors, it's not even canon kind of spinoff. But let's talk about our giveaways first. We have two big giveaways going on right now. One is for a Switch Lite with two second place winners getting uh, two Switch games of choice or a Switch game of choice for, for two different winners uh, for a total of three winners. To enter that, go down to the description. There is a laundry list of things. The big thing is to subscribe to the channel. Uh, that's the big one. Like the video. Comment on the video. You can do that on every video and get extra entries. Follow on Twitter. All that jazz. Uh, also, if you join our Patreon at patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime for as little as $1 a month, uh, you will get uh, 15 entries as well into that giveaway and into, into every giveaway, including our second giveaway that was totally unplanned uh, for Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Uh, there's a Gleam.io link to enter that as well, in addition to the Patreon link. Uh, so, yeah, like that's really, really cool. Uh, so, two different giveaways, six total winners. All winners will be announced on October 1st. All right, let's get into this. So, Nintendo enthusiasts did an interview, or at least spoke to, uh, leaders on the Kingdom Hearts series. Specifically, they were talking about Melodies of Memory, but that didn't stop them from... Uh, having other conversations in general. So they talked to uh, th the producer Ichiro Hazama, co-director Masanobu Suzy, and franchise director and character designer Tetsuya Nomura. Now, I probably butchered all those names, so I really apologize. I'm really bad at uh, pronouncing certain words and, and especially names. Uh, but something interesting came out from uh, Tetsuya Nomura, who runs like the entire IP of Kingdom Hearts. So not just Melody of Memory, but like the whole franchise. He said, uh, they confirmed there is no specific plans for Kingdom Hearts games on Switch. Square Enix did consider ports of existing games for Switch in the past, but found that it was technologically difficult. He did add, however, that Switch is a very appealing piece of hardware, and he wants to do something on the console uh, and then he kind of goes on to talk about how, you know, Square might consider other IPs and all that. But let me repeat that again. They have no specific plans for Kingdom Hearts games on Switch. Square Enix did consider ports of existing games for Switch in the past, but found that it was technologically difficult. I am going to sit here and try to be fair at, at first and say that uh, not every game engine is going to work the same on Switch. Okay, and Switch has two different performance modes to consider, and those performance modes have to, uh, it has to be almost a seamless transition. Now, you can argue you don't really have to have a seamless transition. You can argue you could just make your game for portable mode, and then it just performs the same in docked mode. And there actually are some third party games that do that on Switch where they don't actually increase in performance just because you slap it on a dock, unless the frame rate's unlocked, because then obviously the boosted clocks will help with the frame rate. But I. The thing is, I don't really buy this technologically too difficult mumbo jumbo. Now, if they had just said, I would I would have gave them this much credit. If they had said Kingdom Hearts three is too technologically difficult, I would have maybe gave them a pass because they could have brought Kingdom Hearts three over. There's no doubt about that. So we have The Witcher three, Doom Eternal's coming. We've seen you know we get NBA two K every year. We've seen major AAA games run on Switch. So we there's nothing about the art style or even the engine that feels like it can't run on Switch, especially if they would have hired a, a really good porting studio. You know, Panic Button or I don't I don't know. I mean there's 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 a there's like three or four really really good porting studios out there they could have gotten in contact with that would have done it. Uh, and would have probably done a really really good job. I mean Saber Interactive as an example did the Witcher 3 port. I mean, my word, wouldn't they be perfect to port Kingdom Hearts 3? But if they had just specifically said Kingdom Hearts 3, I would have maybe gave them a pass. Because Kingdom Hearts 3 is a gorgeous game, and I can understand that maybe visually they wouldn't want to downgrade it. But they said no plans for more Kingdom Hearts games on Switch. So they mean anything. The entire Kingdom Hearts franchise. This is a franchise that has games on the 3DS. This is a franchise where Kingdom Hearts 2 is a PlayStation 2 game. And you're going to tell me you cannot get those games on Switch? 
You're going to tell me it's too technologically difficult to release Kingdom Hearts 1, Kingdom Hearts 2, and then all of the in-between games that we got on 3DS or PSP? You're going to tell me we can't get the entire, the entire Kingdom Hearts franchise but 3 on Switch. And then maybe 3 can come to future hardware when it's more capable and Square Enix has to make less sacrifices. You're going to tell me, honestly, Tetsuma Nomura, that while you considered ports of existing games, it's too technologically difficult to bring over games that are on inferior platforms. Come on. You can't expect anyone to buy that bullshit. And the frustrating thing is Square works closely with Nintendo in some regards. You know, Octopath Travelers was, you know, console exclusive, uh, at least a timed exclusive to Switch for a while. Nintendo advertised it big. We know we're getting Octopath Travelers 2 at some point, maybe even next year. That could be a, a, a you know, a big release next year because the first Octopath Travelers performed very well on Switch. Square Enix was super happy with the sales and said it massively exceeded their expectations. Uh, obviously, Bravely Default 2 is made by that same team, basically, and Nintendo... Uh, publishes that IP, so there's a working professional relationship literally as a publisher and developer between Square Enix and Nintendo. And obviously we know all about you know Final Fantasy games that have been there in the past. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered just came out on Switch uh, along with PlayStation 4 and other platforms. Even though <laughs> um, I have some qualms about that port and that game and some decisions they decided to make, reality is Square has been putting games on Switch. We, we haven't gotten their big, big games, which, you know, Final Fantasy VII Remake, uh, you know, any core Final Fantasy game that, that that's relatively new. But reality is that there's no reason Kingdom Hearts can't be on Switch. Sure, we're getting some spinoff music game, but why can't we get one, two, all the in-between games? And heck, I can argue we should be able to get three. And I, I'm trying to be understanding because I know game engines are all different. But how many game engines have we seen be able to be adapted to Switch if the company just wants it to be, okay? We know Ubisoft's top-tier mainline game engine runs on Switch. We know this because Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle uses it. So we know it runs on Switch, and we know it runs well because of the interviews during the time that that game was coming out stated that engine runs extremely well on Switch, way better than they thought it did, okay? We know the Doom engine, the Doom Eternal engine. We know that runs on Switch. We know Unreal Engine 4 runs on Switch. We don't know about 5 yet. 5 is going to be a little bit more of a challenge for current Switch hardware. But we know Unreal Engine 3, Unreal Engine 4 runs on Switch, right? We know, you know, Unity. Obviously, Unity runs on everything, so that's not that surprising. But we just know all these different game engines are able to adapt and work on Switch. So Square Enix's can't. The one they use for Kingdom Hearts can't be adapted to Switch. It seems lazy, and it seems like they feel there wouldn't be enough sales to even bother. That, that That's the real reason, right? That there wouldn't be enough sales to bother to invest in someone like Saber Interactive or even themselves to port over older games. That's the real reason, right? That has to be the real reason, because there's no excuse that Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, and all the tweener games can't be on Switch, even if we can't get the, the HD up versions, which, by the way, if we can't get HD up versions of old PS2 games on Switch, I mean, come on. That, that, that to me is utterly ridiculous. I mean, we're getting, you know, you know Mario Sunshine in HD on, on Switch. We could get kingdom hearts come the hell on i ain't buying that excuse for any moment again i i can tr i can attempt to marginalize and mentally jump through hoops to accept that kingdom hearts 3 might be too much to invest in to get to run on switch again no reason we can't have a collection no reason we can't have one two plus all the side game collection there's no reason the nintendo 3ds can have core kingdom hearts games the psp can have core kingdom hearts games the playstation 2 can have core kingdom hearts games but the nintendo switch a 2015 tech tech that came out years after all this other technology that's being used to have these games technology that's way more powerful can't have these games Especially when many of these games are available on PC architecture already. And PC architecture works very well with the architecture inside the Switch for porting reasons. There's no reason. The only excuse is they don't want to put in the work. They don't want to put in the little bit of work that it would take to make the game run on Switch. 
or they don't want to hire a studio. They just don't think it's going to sell well. They don't think it's going to... And the thing is, they have sales data showing that games sell well on Switch. But that sales data comes from, you know, quote-unquote, semi-exclusives. It's, it's just ridiculous. And who knows? Maybe there's something... Uh, you know, I, I could argue maybe it's a licensing thing. Maybe Disney doesn't want these games on Switch. But then we have, you know, Disney, Tsum Tsum or Sum Sum or whatever you call it, right, on Switch. So, like, Disney clearly doesn't have an issue putting games on Switch. I mean, hell... Hulu is on is on Switch, and in case you didn't know, Hulu is owned primarily by Disney because Disney bought Fox, and Fox were the majority owners of Hulu. So Disney owns Hulu. This is why you see a lot of Disney content on Hulu. You see a lot of more of the family friendly stuff over on Disney Plus, and then they use Hulu to kind of be like the TV show slash like more serious uh, stuff. I mean, not necessarily like Star Wars movies, but you know anything that's more mature that they have out there. They, they kind of separate the brands that way, right? You know, they keep the Disney Plus as a more family-friendly oriented place, and then they keep Hulu as a, hey, look, you know, there are family-friendly stuff on here, but we know that primarily people that are interested in Hulu are adults or young adults that, are, that want the latest TV shows without being subscribed to cable, or they, you know, just want uh, more mature content in general. That's why, you know, you see some some more mature shows on there being created, more, more mature customized shows. So, yeah, I, I honestly think that this is just all bullshit. And Square Enix, um, I, I'm just going to, I hate saying this. I, I'm usually not this harsh to companies, but Square Enix can get fucked. I'm not even going to apologize for the language. I'm that upset that we can't have everything Kingdom Hearts but three on Switch literally, they couldn't tell me one good excuse. Too technologically difficult. Too technologically difficult my ass to make a PlayStation 2 and 3DS game run on a Switch. My God, I can hack my Switch right now and emulate those games. I'm dead serious. There are people doing it right now. There are people with hack Switches emulating all of the old games. You're telling me an emulator can run on Switch and play these games just fine. But Square Enix can't make them run officially on Switch. It's too technologically difficult. No. This is one of the few times I will say what happened is they threw Kingdom Hearts 3 at Switch, right? Here, here, here's the real story. Here's the story they won't tell you. You know, we tested because they said they tested this and decided it was too technologically difficult. Here's their test. They took Kingdom Hearts 3. And I have this on good faith uh, from someone who is a former employee from the company. They took the game, Kingdom Hearts 3. They threw it at Switch. They got it to run, right? right? They, 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 they did some stuff to it to make it run. It ran at 8 to 10 frame rates, 8 to 10 FPS in dock mode on a dev unit. And that's as far as they went with it. And they said, yep, not good enough. We're done. You want to talk about lazy? You want to talk about no optimization? They didn't bother to mess with the resolutions. They didn't bother to mess with graphical settings. They didn't bother to mess with anything. They, they didn't even attempt to optimize. They just threw the game code at it, recompiled it to run on Switch, and it ran like crap because it wasn't optimized. It wasn't optimized. And they gave up. That's what they mean by they tested. They tested Kingdom Hearts 3 and said, nope, we can't bring the franchise to Switch. But hey, look, we're developing this new, you know, memories game. We can, we can, we can you know, do that from the ground up and have that run on Switch. We'll use Switch uh, for that one because, it's, you know, it's not so intensive and it's not Kingdom Hearts 3, a game that we were already working on for years. We don't have to put any effort into it. It'll just run on Switch because that's exactly what they did. They made that game. They compiled it for Switch and it just ran and it ran fine. So they decided, yep, we can do that. We just can't bring any of the other Kingdom Hearts games. They didn't even attempt to get Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 or any of the other Kingdom Hearts games to run on Switch. They didn't even try. The fact that I can emulate them on Switch with a hacked Switch, but we can't get them officially because it's too technologically difficult, I'm sorry. That's bullshit. Anyways, enough of that. <laughs> kind of a downer story to start today, but you know what? Not every story is always going to be super positive. We do have a, an Ubisoft Forward today, which should have at least one Switch game that we're for sure of uh, coming. I know there was that listing for the Prince of Persia remake, which we've seen some leaks for. It looks like the Prince of Persia remake uh, stuff was a false listing for Switch, and it's not coming to Switch. But again, we'll, we'll have official confirmation here in a few hours. Uh, there is the, the one, you know, Gods and Monsters that's now been renamed to Immortals, Phoenix Rising or whatever. Uh, that is one game that is coming to Switch that we know Ubisoft showing off today. So we'll see that. Also, someone, did, they keep forgetting to do this. Ubisoft's doing a pre-show 
And in the pre-show, they're going to have Roller Champions. Roller Champions was announced for Switch 2, so I don't know why people are acting like we're only getting Immortals. We're getting Roller Champions footage as well, and that's coming to Switch. Uh, we'll see if Ubisoft has any other announcements for Switch. I know a lot of people have been hoping, you know, maybe a surprise announcement of, of Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Metals 2 or Zelda plus Rabbids Kingdom Metals 2. I mean, a Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Metal 2 would be really cool for the 35th anniversary. Uh, you know, plus you have to you have to look at other things. Like, it would be neat to get more Assassin's Creed games on Switch. I know, you know, Valhalla coming to Switch is probably not going to happen, but, you know, why not, uh, why not? Some of the older games. They already got Assassin's Creed 3. Let's get 4 Black Flag on here. You know, let's get Assassin's Creed 2. I don't know. Like, I, I just think there's more that Ubisoft could do as well. Uh, but at least Ubisoft doesn't run it around pretending that games can't run on Switch. They just don't talk about it. <laughs> so, I guess that's one way to avoid the backlash, is it? You know, we're not even going to talk about trying to get it to run on Switch. We don't want you to know if we've tried or not tried. All right, folks. I'll catch you in the next video. Yes.